you are welcome back to house of ada and in today's video i'll be sharing with you how to make this pleated plaid skirt that can be used for playing tennis if you're new here please consider subscribing and without wasting much of your time let's dive straight into the video to make this pleated plaid skirt you have to use two yards depending on your waist the length of the skirt is going to be 22 so what i have here is 20 inches and i'm going to use this for the band and is about 2.5 2.5 inches for the waistband so my length is going to be 22 inches when i add the waistband and here the length of my fabric this is for from here to the other end is going to be the waist so this is two yards of fabric because i'm going to pleat and when you're pleating you need more fabric to make it well balanced so this fabric here i already cut it into two so one for the front and the other one for the back but before we start the pleating i want to go ahead and overlock this edge these sides are going to be for joining and this side is for the zip allowance so i'm going to overlock here and this end here that i'll be folding in with here and i will do that on the back side as well after overlocking as you can see i already done that if you don't have the overlocker just use your zigzag stitch so that this doesn't rip off this is going to be our bottom so i'm going to fold in half an inch iron it down and i will make a straight line sewing from one end to the other and that is called hemming your skirt after hemming the bottom you see how neat it is so after hemming I would go ahead now and I would start marking my pleat lines. So I go in here with, with my tape and I start by marking. Here, I'm going to mark two inches here, two inches. And I'm going to mark two inches like this till I get to the end. is the end the next thing is for me to make my pleats so i'm going to pick the first one i would jump the second one and place on the third and i'm going to use my fabric clips i'll link down this in the description so you can see where i got it from so i would jump this and place this here I will pick the next one, jump this place here. So when I get to this end, I'm going to leave this remaining one. So I'm going to use one inch here as my seam allowance for as for the zip allowance. And here I'm going to join this to the other part. So when you are making the pleats and you have gotten to this stage, you have to measure from here to here, adding your seam sewing allowance to see if it's 
okay with your waist so my waist is 38 inches plus one inch same sewing allowance is going to be 39 so 39 divided by 2 is 19.5 so here i can now place my tape adding half an inch seam sewing allowance here and adding another here to make sure that when i i sew it's going to be the same with my waist so here i am satisfied with what i have gotten here so i will go ahead making sure my pleats are on the places that they are supposed to be so i'm going to iron this down now putting the lines properly then after ironing and seeing that they are now flat i'm going to mark 4.5 inches down here remember we are taking half an inch here as same sewing allowance so it's 4.5 you mark down here so after marking that down I'm going to still use my pin to hold it down Then after holding it down, I'm going to sew on this line here. So I'm going to sew from here down to this 4.5 inches. And I'm going to do that till I get to the last one. And remember whatever I have done on this, I would go ahead and repeat it on the back side as well. After I have finished pinning the two, so this is the first plate. You just have to lift this up. And holding down the plate the pleated side and you sew so I'm going to make sure that I'm sewing in as close as possible and when I get to the mark of 4.5 I stop And like that, I move to the next. And this is what I'm going to do till I have finished sewing the pleated ends. After sewing, this is what it looks like. I will then go ahead and place the back to the front one. So this is the front side. So this is the back and this is the back panel. So I'm just going to place this. And I'm going to sew half an inch here to join the two skirts together. To add my zipper, I'm going to place my zip here. And remember we are going to attach the band so here is where the zip would start that would attach band here because it will start it will still have a skirt hook so from here i'm going to sew one inch from here down and after sewing make sure to iron your seam as this gives it a smooth and more crisp look so i'm going to turn to the right side of my zip allowance and I'm going to fold in that one inch so I'm going to fold in here as well and press it down so the same way to this as well So when it's like this, attaching your zipper is easier and quickly done. So I'll just go ahead and sew in my zip. And my zip is ready. So the next thing now is to add the band. And to add the band, I'm just going to lay my waist down and I measure.
so this is waist 19 because I'm adding hook so I'm going to make it 20 inches so 20 by 2 which is 40 so this is what I'm going to do now so I'm going to mark out my band and my band is 40 inches plus half an inch seam sewing allowance so it's 40.5 In making my pants I want to always make it stiff and look like real band to do that I iron my a gum stay on the band to make it stiff and this makes it more relaxed on the waist this is the side with the glue I iron it to the back part of the fabric and after ironing my clothes gum stay to the fabric so I fold in half an inch here with the seam sewing allowance and I do that to the other end as well iron in half an inch all through then folding it in like this I will iron in this part but making it smaller so to sew in your band I'm going to leave it like this so one part is longer than the other so I'm going to sew it once and it, this makes it easier for me as well and it comes out very neat so no worries Or when it comes to the edge like this you have to make them same and now I can go ahead I'm going to open the edges that I have ironed and holding it down like this I'm going to sew and top stitch on both ends after sewing you cut off this to make it very smooth And I'll repeat this on the other side. In order to attach my band, I already know the longer part is going to be on the inside. So it's going to be like this. This is the longer part. I'll make sure it is on the inside. So because it's here, and this is the one that would cover my hook. So I give off the one inch allowance that I gave before and I'm going to pin it all round Going to start sewing from here and sew it all round and after doing that I will just when I'm sewing I don't need to bother about the inside because it's a bit longer so when I sew here it's going to stitch almost to the end of this part but I will still check as I'm sewing to make sure that none is left out on the inside and after doing that finally I will go ahead and put on my one skirt hook and the skirt is ready I show you the fitting this is the fitting guys if you enjoyed watching this video please do not forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and share the video check other videos to see how i made other two skirts and beautiful styles thanks for watching i see you next time